Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. You know, 10W30 and 10W40 oils, well, they're everywhere. They're probably the most common motor oils in the world, and they're really similar when you come down to it. But how are they different, and can you use both the 10W30 and 10W40 oil in your particular machine? Well, if you're ready to learn how these oils are different, we can look into that, so let's go. Now, let's start with what those numbers actually mean. Both 10W30 and 10W40 are multi-grade oils. This means that they can carry properties of different weight oils depending on the conditions. The first grade is the number before the W, and the second grade is the number after the W. Both of these oils are 10W, meaning that in low temperatures, the W stands for winter. They will behave as regular old 10W SAE grade oil. This means that the oil is thinner and will flow quickly, even when cold, to lubricate an engine when it started on a cold day. Now, the second number. That one after the W is where the slight difference is found in these oils. The second number represents the oil's viscosity at temperatures above 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. The higher the number, the thicker the oil is at higher operating temperatures. So, the 10W40 oil will be a tad thicker than the 10W30 oil when the engine is hot, meaning it will offer a little bit more protection. Think of it this way. Both of these oils are good for cold starts, but if you're in a warmer climate or your engine runs a little bit hotter, the 10W40 oil is going to be the way to go. But if you live somewhere colder or your engine runs cooler, the 10W30 will work better since it runs a little thinner in cooler temperatures. Now, what about fuel economy? The flow of oil adds drag inside your engine. A thinner oil will produce less drag and allow you to increase fuel economy. So a 10W30 oil will offer better fuel economy than the 10W40 oil. But choosing an oil based on whether it will drive better fuel economy is a mistake. Choose the right oil for the engine and the operating conditions. So, can you use either oil in your motorcycle? Sure, but it's best to use the oil recommended by the manufacturer for your conditions. There is one additional consideration though, and that's how the oil relates to your clutch. In a car, there's a separate transmission fluid, but in a motorcycle, that same oil lubricates the engine, the clutch, and the gearbox in most cases. Also, be careful about additives in automotive oils. Some friction modifiers will impact the engagement of your motorcycle's clutch. So, using an automotive oil in a motorcycle is a tricky proposition, and I wouldn't recommend it unless you have no other alternative. Either grade will work, but choose a motorcycle variant so that your clutch is protected. In the end, either 10W30 or 10W40 would probably be fine in moderate climate conditions. But the higher the heat, the more you might want to lean into that 10W40 oil. Now, if you're looking for oil or oil filters or any other parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at Partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments about this video, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.